Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and welcome back to the Steve and the Alien Anime Studio tutorial series. Whew, I've been saying that quite a bit lately. Anyway, this is the final animation segment that we have to do. After this, it is all about editing the video together. And luckily, we are ending on a fairly easy note. What we have to do here is really not all that complicated. To get started, we need to open up one of the existing shots of Steve in the car. It could be any of the three that you have done up to this point. We just need him in the car. So once you've done that, make sure you go to File, Save As, and then you can save your file a different file name so that we have that separated from the existing shot. And once you have done that, we need now to clear all of the animation from the document. That includes the background moving portion. So we go up to animation, clear animation from document, and hit yes. So now that will do away with all the animation and we don't have to worry about any of it. Next, we need to open Steve's eyes if they're not already open for you and change his mouth. So I'll go into my Steve layer, right click on the mouth and position it like that and also turn on the pupils and the eyes so that they're open. And now let's click on the pupils switch layer so we have that selected, and then take the translate layer tool. We'll go to frame one and just click to insert a keyframe, and we'll go all the way to frame 24 and insert another keyframe just by simply clicking. Now we'll advance to about frame 32 and move the pupils back like that. So they just go like that. And then we'll go to about frame 42 and click. And then we'll go to about frame 52 and then move them back like this. So it's simply just a matter of him looking back and then forward. And that's all we really need. And then we will end at 72. So I'll just go to my end frame here and enter 72 so that the animation doesn't play out too long. And now let's go back to frame zero, or you can go to frame one, whichever works for you. And we will now grab the roll camera tool. And starting at your beginning frame of either frame zero or one, we will just simply rotate the camera so that he is now upside down. Because remember at this portion of the video, the van is upside down and he's at the mercy of the UFO. So now we have him sitting there and he just kind of looks around like, okay, what do I do now? And that's all we really have to do for this. Told you it was pretty easy. So now we just go to file and save to save the project. And we export the video out through export animation. Look at your video, make sure it looks good and then save the animation because Coming up very soon here, we'll be splicing together all of the video clips we have exported out into one big project. Anyway, that concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.